Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of The Tech Effect. I'm Pete Techman Coleman, and beside me is Mark, the bearded tech skier. Hello, mate. <laughs> how you doing? Good, good. Beautiful hey, day at the oh, Sunshine Coast. Uh, Gold Coast. Where are we? Burley Heads. All right, <laughs> we're on location We're on the today. coast I mean, anyway. Look at this, look at this amazing view. It's absolutely it's incredible. So we thought today we'd do something a little bit different. We'd talk about apps, right? Tech, phones, apps, they all go hand in hand. We use them every single day, right? Yeah. So what I want to know hacks. from you, yeah. what apps do you use on a regular basis? Uh, look, I've got a, as you do, a crazy busy life, yes. right? So apps for, for me are all about making sure that we get um, the maximum use of our time. So yeah. I try and sh shortcut, which we'll, we'll come back to that. I, I try and shortcut okay. as much right. as Hack my way to note that down. Hack, hack my shortcut. apps as best as I can. Right. Number so, one. so number one, well, we might as well go there because we've already me, gone. Tell there. me about shortcuts. Sh shortcuts. Shortcuts is a is almost like a a, a workflow or an uh, automated macro right. um, application where you can you can set anything up to do anything on your phone. So you might go, I want to record, uh, I want to record something and send a message to someone. So I want to record it, but then I want it to. Just because you're lazy. Now, this is because I drive a lot. Okay, so this right, is my okay. hack yes. for driving. So, no. so I'm driving along, I spend a lot of time on the road, and I go, oh, I've got to send a message too. Okay, so I'm not I'm not voice to text here, I'm just voice. So right. this is typically I use it for internal messaging to my okay. team. So I'll, I'll do this, uh, press shortcuts, and it'll open up the app, it'll record my voice. So you set up a macro though. You go, yeah. I want it to do this, 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 and this. And yeah, yeah. This is what you showed me earlier today. Yeah, yeah. So, and I can make this as long as I like, right? So it'll yeah. drop to my Dropbox and then it'll, it'll open up Slack and it'll drop the message straight into Slack and I'll be like, sweet as, that's that's a really quick way to I've never get stuff heard done. of it, I, but I, when you showed yeah. me, I was very impressed. Yeah, so. and I'll set up, I'll set up my um, take me home. So I've just yeah. got the, the, it's a little shortcut that there it goes. You don't know how to get home? Take me home. Well, you know when you're in the city and you're like, I have no idea the quickest way to get out right, here. Yeah. Typically, you don't want to do that because you're stuck at the lights and you just yeah. go, take me home, bang, and it'll just go. That gets me out of the city. And once I'm out of the city, I'm right. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. What else? Um, Business-wise, anything you use for Oh Look, sense? look. I, I've only recently swapped over to Evernote. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, you use OneNote? OneNote. OneNote. Yeah, I like yeah. OneNote. Okay, yeah. so tell, what do you like Same about OneNote? Time. I love the synchronization of it all. Uh, yeah. I tried it a number of years ago. It didn't really sync you know and i'd get frustrated because i'm always bouncing between my my mobile device my phone and my laptop yeah right so and i just want depending on what platform i'm working on, i want the same information there all the time so yeah I, you know it's got I'm an ideas man right you know that yeah. okay ideas man and so when i have all these ideas i need to jot them down in a hurry in a hurry before they right. go on so i just open up one note yeah synchronizes yeah evernote's much the same uh yeah. and the reason i chose evernote um you know I don't do business cards that that well or much, and I typically I'm not the most organised person. Like you, I see your uh, OneNote, and it's like, <laughs> man, your organisation actually can just pack, pack bags, ca catch train to airport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, like <laughs> shave, like yeah, it's, yeah. It's just so I don't. Mine's forget. If, I, yeah, if, yeah. if I've got Melbourne written in there, right. I'm, I'm on All a good right, thing. Yeah, right, yeah. So. yeah, you like to group things. So, so. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I use, it's got a really good business card scanning part okay. of that and it can then sort that out. Use that yeah, just pull, pull the data straight off it and takes a photo of the business card right. and then it's it's completely good to go. I can nice. just toss the business card. So what, what about, I do that in front of people. No, 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 no. no, no. People what, do that to me. That's why I don't carry business cards. Right. Yeah, okay, they chuck yours in. <laughs> yeah, chuck mine. Yeah, most of them's But what about on LinkedIn? So obviously LinkedIn, oh. right, we've got... Haven't we discovered this crazy crap? How good is that? It's a really good thing. How good is that? Tell me. Oh, well, Show me. Let's do it. Okay, let's let's do let's this. quickly All do it. Right, we so quickly open up our LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Accounts. So open up your LinkedIn. Go to your home page, just the main page on your on your app. Now I'm gonna just see if we can. Show right you. beside the word search, right up to that search box. This up here. You press that, and then you have two options: scan and my, my code. code. All right. So. So what's cool about this is that well, you can, we you could be having me. lunch. I'll, I'll go scan. Pete's got his my code. Bang. And it bangs, takes me straight to his profile, and I can just go connect. Easy. Why would you ever want a business card? Because it feels good. <laughs> it feels good to be giving. Feels so, good. That's right. All it's right. A, it's a giving thing. So LinkedIn 
scanning. It's a really cool, yeah, that really is cool very thing. Cool. Um, personal, personal development. We'll get that out. Personal development. Personal development. What are right. you, what are you uh, reading, podcasts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, or professional development, depending on correct, what you're listening both. to. Yeah, bit of both. There, yeah. So I, I, I'm not the best reader. Like I don't, I, I get bored reading. Right. So yeah. flicking pages. So I need to listen to books. So I'm a audio books guy. So I'll listen to, geez, uh, depending on how interesting it is. Yeah, yeah. I'll listen to a couple of audio books a month. Yeah. Uh, that's just the way that I connect. Uh, and I love a I love a good podcast. All right. Yeah, yeah. Number one podcast that you listen to? A guy, Australian guy called Mike Walsh, Mike-Walsh.com. Check him out. Uh, he has a podcast called Between Worlds. It's all about AI, machine learning, algorithms, all that. Fascinating. Very fascinating. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you are not a propel head, you are wasting your time. <laughs> it gets pretty deep. Right? It does it get does pretty get deep, deep. But it's, it's good. It's I pretty cool yeah. if, if you like, if you're a techno yeah, yeah. like us. What so. about yourself? Do you, um, what do you listen to? Oh, look, there's you listen a, to podcasts I do listen to a few books? podcasts. I've yeah. got uh, anything that's on Audible, obviously the audible, same as you, yeah, so yeah, yeah. download that. Uh, but um, I've got, Hang on, I've got a hack. I've got a hack. An audible hack? hack. Okay, right. Okay, don't tell anyone that. All right. Oh, what's good secret? Right, right. Okay, Here right. we go. Okay, so if you've got an Audible account mm. and you've got a credit card that's about to expire, right? About to expire. This is an honest hack. Let me. And yeah. It's an honest right hack. On. It's yeah. a loophole. Let's call it a loophole. A loop. right? Okay. <laughs> and, and you have a credit card that's about to expire. Update those credit card details with the one that's about to expire, because every month on Audible you get a free book. Do you get like a free book there that yeah, comes? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what happens? Your credit card expires. They send you an email. Going, oh, your credit card's expired. You need to update it. Okay. Yep. No worries. You don't update it, and every month you still get the free book. Is that true? That's true. Holy bucket! There you have it. You heard it here first yes. on that one. Yes. Or oh, whether it's first, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Pete, yes. you you travel a lot. Uh, yeah, yes, I do. Okay. Yes. You yeah. have got some. You, you was telling me today. You got some. You got some ripper apps I, that you, you have to when you travel. Like you need yeah. to be able to. Yeah, be in touch with hack the system. your flight. Not hacking the system. Oh, well, well, you got to make. You, you got to. There's a, there's a lot to be said for travelling in comfort. Correct. Well, so first of all, I have uh, a app called TripView. Now, in Sydney, I think it works in Melbourne as well. But essentially, what it is, it's the train timetable. So you just punch in. You say, I want to catch a train from Wynyard to Domestic Airport. Yeah. Right? You put that in. And it shows you all the times and it tells you if it's delayed everything you need to know it's all there no more running to the train well that's my problem right that's all running yeah that so i'll get off the plane and the first thing i do is i all right okay open it up turn around trip view what time's the next train and sometimes you'll see if you see me running through the airport I'm running for the train, right? <laughs> because <laughs> you, sometimes it might be You've like, opened up the app and gone, oh, crap. Correct. I need to, I need to run, right? I need, it's funny because you see these other people running past you when you know, oh, I've got three minutes. I'm cool, right? And so yeah, you can yeah. just walk. So I love that, right? So that's a really good one. <laughs> I can just imagine yeah. you. There's like, these people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, to the, yeah, they get to the station, yeah. and they're like, yeah, yeah. he's just like, I'm cool. cool. I'm just doing cool. my thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's a really good app that I use all the time. Uh, there's another one for flight. So if you want to know if your flight is on time, Flight stats, F L I G H T S T A T S. Flight stats. Uh, that's really good. It's a free app. Both. Of the, uh, well, TripView is a free app. But if you want to save, if you're doing regular trips and you want to save that, then you you pay for the app. Sure. Okay. Which is right. fine. I'm, I pay for it. It's like I don't know, six bucks or something like that. Yeah. Like it's it's pretty, pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. cheap. And won't, so won't send you broke. No, 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 definitely not. So uh, that flight stats. Uh, Seat Guru is another really good one. So you, especially on international flights, you got a long haul flight. You want to know which is the best seat to sit on on, on the plane. So you get a Seat Guru. Um, the other one that I've got was what was it called? It's actually not an app. It's it's a, a, a software program that you download. Expert Flyer. That's what it. Expert Flyer is the bomb, right? So if you're wanting to upgrade say to business or whatever class, you've got an economy ticket, you want to upgrade on points, what you do is you, you download Expert Flyer and you can actually put in your flight details and it shows you the loading on the flight. So therefore, the likelihood of getting that upgrade. 
So, like, for instance, if, if I want to upgrade So you to, kind of play the game a little bit. Well, if I... It's just having the right information, right? Yeah. You know, if I want to upgrade to, say, business using points, I can look at it, and, and if that flight is completely full with, you know, business class passengers, I'm not likely... To, I'm not going to get an upgrade, right? Yeah, yeah. But if the next day or the previous day it might be half full, the likelihood's quite high. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, so that's another uh, one that I use when I travel. Uh, Tinder is another popular <laughs> one when you... Sorry. What, you don't use Tinder? Oh, you're married. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. No, yeah, no. so, yeah, so that's a never leave home without it, as they say. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Next. No, I, that's all I got. So you, <laughs> yes. Wherever you go, you must have a Tinder well, that, when that's you're right. traveling. It's, uh, must. it's just, it's the new Facebook. <laughs> the singles. Yeah, for the singles. singles. That's it. Yeah. So. All right, I have one more. Tell me. One more. I think it's really cool. If you're a uh, technology person. Uh, like us. Like us. Yes. I've got this app. It's called Thing. It's free. Oh, F yes. You're I N G. Thing. 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 Put it on what the network. It? What is it? Press refresh scans everything on the network and tells you the IP addresses. So if you're looking That's for handy. you're looking for a device on your network, especially for integrators and stuff, when you're trying to just find something, what the hell's going on? Nice. Thing. Yeah, it's really just makes Check life that easy. One out. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, well, there are our apps. There are our hacks to life. We should go for a surf. Yeah, time to go. I can see. I can see the surf there. Yeah, it looks amazing. I'll stand here and look at you when you're surfing. With my hat on. Actually, can you imagine me? <laughs> you imagine Mark paddling out. Surfing <laughs> with my hat on. Steam it. Steam it with the hat on. Never comes off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go. I hope Take you guys, care, guys enjoyed the show and uh, tune in to the next one. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye.